Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this fondant cake pop arrangement. So you're just going to need any flavored cake mix that you want and just prepare it the same way that it says in the back of the box, which is just going to be one cup of water, three eggs, and fourth cup of oil. And I felt like eating a strawberry banana cake, so I just went ahead and mashed up one banana. And it was ripe. The riper the banana, the more fluffy cake-like it will bake. But if you get a more yellowish green banana, it will make the cake mix more dense. So it just depends which preference you have. Do you want a more fluffy cake or do you want a more dense cake? So you're just going to mix up your cake mix and then slowly fold in your banana. And normally I like to add in two bananas per cake box when I'm making a cake. But since these are just cake pops, I went ahead and just added one so they wouldn't become too mushy. Now that our cake mix is mixed, I'm just going to go ahead and grab my pan. It doesn't matter what size pan you use because at the end you're just going to end up mushing the cake anyway. So whatever pan you do get, just always fill it up halfway so you don't get any overflow. And if you don't want to use any baking spray, you don't have to. Just always align the bottom of your pan with parchment paper to prevent any sticking. So now that it's ready, we're just going to go ahead and pop it into the oven. And here it is, super nice and moist. It came out of the pan so easy. So now we're just going to be mixing it up with our hands, squishing it up very fine. And I've done this so many different ways. You can either use melted chocolate, frosting, or just with the actual steam of the cake, it will clump together. But for this one, I'm going to be adding just a regular Pillsbury vanilla frosting. And I added about two tablespoons. And the goal here is just to make sure it's not overly thickened with that frosting. Because it's going to be taste super sweet. So I just added very little to make sure you're able to squish it into a bun. It doesn't fall apart. So here I'm just going to have my plate next to me with my little cake pop sticks. And I'm going to be using this Wilton Candy Melt Strawberry Flavored. And it actually melted so beautifully. I usually hate using the little wafers because I feel like they just overly burn really quick. So here I'm just going to be shaping my cake pops into the shape of a rosebud. And they don't have to be perfect because at the end of the day, the fondant will shape up to the size of a rose. You have to make sure you have a good base. So make them like either circular or a little bit like pointy. So you're just going to dig your stick into the chocolate. And then go ahead and stick it into your cake pop. And you can let them sit for about 15 to 20 minutes to make sure that chocolate hardens. So the cake pops do not fall off the stick. And remember, you don't want to make them too thick thick or heavy because the cake pops will just completely fall apart from the stick because with all that coating of the chocolate and all this they will get too heavy and they will just fall apart so you need to make like a nice decent medium medium to small size bud okay once my cake pops are nice and cooled i'm gonna go ahead and start just dipping them into my chocolate and then i'm gonna let them sit until they're completely dry so we can start covering them in fondant don't these cake pops remind anyone else of like cotton candy, how they look? And they smell super good. Okay, now that they are dry, we're going to start using our fondant. And I got this one from Hobby Lobby. It was about $2.99, I believe. And I wasn't sure how deep red this was going to look, but it actually was super, super red, which I did like. And it tasted pretty decent. I wouldn't be the best judge because I'm not a huge fanatic of fondant, but I did want to try this for this video. So here I'm just going to be laying down my powdered sugar in order to make sure it doesn't stick to my mat or to my rolling pin. So here you're just going to want to roll it out as thin as possible so you can get nice thin um, petals. And I lost the footage of me actually cutting it out. So you're just going to need any small circle cookie cutter you have or a leaf cookie cutter. So you can go ahead and get the shape of them. And then after you cut them out, you're going to want to roll them down even more. To get nice fine looking uh, rose petals. And then once you're all done rolling them out. You're just going to grab a little thin piece. And stick it right on top of that rose. So you won't be able to see the pink coming through. So here you're just going to start um, playing around with your fondant. Put them where you think they will look best. So basically it's so easy. You're just going to grab a piece. And place it on there. And then overlap each other petal. So it can look like a real rose. And here, yes, I did have my husband come in and do it for me because, I don't know, I just really, really hate working with fondant. Even when I was little, I even hated playing with Play-Doh because I just really sucked at making shapes. But my husband is so good at fondant work, so I went ahead and just brought him in for this video. And 
and there is no right or wrong to this you can add as many petals or you can add the least amount of petals as you want it just depends what kind of um rose you're looking for a more closed fresher one or a more opened older one they all look pretty either way okay and once you're happy with how the petals look you're gonna have to take them down and then wet them very lightly that way it acts as glue to stick to the cake pop and they won't fall apart and you're just going to continue the same process over and over until you're all done. Just simply overlap them, put them with water, and then overlap the next layer. And so on and so forth until you're done. Personally, I prefer the, my roses to look more fuller with so much layers. And like, like already like blossomed. And my husband prefers the roses to look really tight and closed. I don't know. It's just different. It just depends on preference you have. Clearly, my husband got an A in preschool, and clearly, I might have gotten an F uh, because of my horrible Play-Doh skills. I don't know. Anyone else just hate working with fondant? Let me know in the comments below because I want to know. People always tell me it's funny how I hate working with fondant, but I'm a cake maker, dessert maker. And I'm like, well, we all have our own preferences and skill levels and patience i just do not have patience for fondant so if you're a baker and you just make really beautiful designs with fondant props to you because it does just take a lot of patience and skill so just continue the same process over and over until you get as many rose pops as you want okay now that we're done i went ahead and picked up this tissue paper from the dollar tree you're gonna need a purple piece and then you're going to need a heart piece. And then once you lay that out, you're going to go ahead and cut it in half. And I got this jar from also from the Dollar Tree. And I went ahead and just cut up my little foam. And measure it before you cover it up in there. Because you don't have to take it out and do it all over again. So you're just going to open up your tissue paper. Go ahead and put your foam on top facing one way and then you're gonna put the heart one facing the opposite way so you can wrap it up like a big box and then you're just gonna stick it into your arrangement and then open it up and then make sure the short pieces are in the front and the taller pieces are in the back just play around with it until you like the way it looks and now we're gonna start putting in our cake pops and remember since there's not that much weight in that foam you want to make sure you evenly distribute the cake pops to make sure it doesn't topple over to one side or the other and since this was just for me i didn't wrap them up in any type of gift bag or anything like that but if you are going to be giving this away or selling them make sure you get with your customer and tell them that they want the rose pops to be individually heat sealed with the cellophane bags that you can get from walmart or if they just want the arrangement covered in a, a clear gift bag that you can also get from the Dollar Tree. It just depends the preference of the customer. For some reason, these roses gave me Alice in Wonderland vibes when the queen was like painting the roses red. I don't know. That just came to my mind. So just make sure you fix them. And this is how they look when they're complete. And you can go ahead and always add green leaves. I personally didn't. But if you feel like doing that, go ahead and put it. And I went ahead and just added a balloon that I got from the Dollar Tree. And this just came out so, so pretty. And they tasted amazing. Especially with that banana added into the cake mix. And like always, thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell to get notified every single time I post a new video.